I stand up next to a mountain and chop it down with the edge of my hand. Some days it seems like I am like going here, I'm going there, I'm going there, I'm going everywhere. The point is, there is a mountain and some days I'm chopping it from the east, I'm chopping it from the west, I'm chopping it from the top, um, hitting it from up underneath. It might seem like there's no consistency, that it's just scatterbrained every which way, but it's all circular. Nothing's linear. This is all circular. And I'm going to come back around to the garden. I'm going to come back around to the medicinal herb garden. It's timing. Everything's got its timing and its place, and it's, it's fitting what I can in the time I have to work with the circumstances of the day. We need chickens. It's imperative. Um, the price of everything is just insane. And I know I got a lot of people that tell me, God's in control. I get it. Don't stress about stuff. I totally get it. But when I go shopping, I used to pay like $11 for a five pound bag of, of chicken at Walmart. And it's up to like 18 bucks right now. A 10 pound bag is like 39, 38 something and change. It's almost 40 bucks for a 10 pound bag of, of chicken. And there's only a few pieces in there. Um, it doesn't last very long. I, we go through it like it's nothing. And w as far as eggs go, we buy a 60 pack of eggs and I mean in a week, 10 days, we can easily go through that. We don't have chickens. We did. I've had multiple her uh, flocks of chickens for one reason or another. You know, things happen and there's no chickens at this point in time is what I'm getting at. I've learned so many lessons when it comes to chickens as far as free ranging and what's, what to do, what not to do. And pretty much it, what it comes down to is if you don't build a prison, something's gonna get them. Something will get those chickens. And even when you do build a prison, something's still gonna get in there. This is the focus for today. All I know is this, we're gonna put chickens over here. I don't know the details, I don't have plans. If Poppy was over here and he was like gonna build a chicken coop, he'd have things drawn out on paper he'd have measurements he'd know materials he'd know xyz abc he'd know the whole nine yards all i know is i got this spot it's a mess and i'm gonna put chickens here and it's gonna be a prison that nothing can get in or out of so before i can do anything and start formulating what this is going to turn into what resources i have to make this become something the first thing i got to do is just pick up this mess here it's nothing but resources in here. It's wood, it's metal. I've got, I've got all kinds of different stuff in here. But what I gotta do is just kind of get it out of here. I'm gonna pretty much take this stuff and, and put it inside the barn for the most part. And then I got a clean slate that I can start like visualizing a game plan. So focus for today, get this cleaned up. guys look at all the hard work we did together working as a team this is a thousand times better than it was I got to figure out what to do with those windows but this gives me something to work with this gives me something to stew on um, I really don't know what we're gonna do here but one of the thoughts that we kind of had was more or less like putting like a door like a kitty door a doggy door kind of idea in the barn here and then I'm just kind of thinking out loud here but Maybe even using this. This was like an old frame for uh, like a like a spa covering that was left here. And like I said, I'm just thinking out loud here, but we've I've kind of considered the idea of maybe taking something like that, putting it up against the wall in here. Imagine this stuff gone. 
but putting it up against the wall here so there's like an enclosure inside the barn and then like a doggy door they could go in and out of to get into a, a yard that is fully enclosed out here. Obviously I would want to put like, I'm probably going to put like some cinder block down, some kind of foundation and then attach fencing to all this and enclose it and then maybe have like another yard outside here where it's all exposure to sun and fully enclosed as well. I really truly don't know what I'm going to do out here. Um, what I do know though is just having this space open and having a spot to look at and process and just think through. I'm kind of going to let the building speak to me I, f I feel like. It's, it's kind of like I feel like the theme for how we've approached a lot of things out here. When it came to the greenhouse I didn't have a clue what I was going to do. I just kind of let the greenhouse speak to me and all of a sudden all these resources started coming to me. and. It just kind of built itself, really. I just, I was just there swinging a hammer. I felt like kind of like a third party playing. Um, I feel like I was a chess piece, and the third party was kind of just making it all go down. And I feel like that kind of happens a lot around here f for me to a degree. It's just uh, touching on points earlier um, about God is in control, and I feel like people keep bombarding me with that kind of to a degree, and, and I get that. And I totally understand that. There's, I can't do anything about out there, but I can do everything about right here. And there was a point in time, a long time back, me and Farmer Jay started getting into homesteading, and I went on this kick. I went on this kick of watching Netflix documentaries for like a three week, for like a ten day stretch. I just watched nothing but like these Netflix documentaries about where our food came from. And I'll never forget the day that I saw a full grown cow. On a on a treadmill, and then it just went right into this grinder. It was alive one second, and the next second it was nothing but ground beef, hooves, skull, everything. And it was like, ding! Something just like totally changed in me right there in in that one moment. And I was like, I don't want to contribute to the industrialized food system in any way, shape, or form. And it's hard to break away from that. I mean, me and Farmer Jay had a full-on homestead going living in our little tiny house that we had 12, 15 years ago next door. And I mean, we were there, we, we were like doing it. And then we, uh, this place came up on the market. We were, we had, we got pregnant and we moved up here and pretty much started all over again. I ended up staying home for three years, raising babies while she worked. And then I had a job opportunity present itself. So I started working again. And then it's so it's been the, like the last few years I've I've been punching the clock she's been punching the clock but at this point I'm home full time now I haven't worked all year and I I've, I've seen what I've been doing like this last month or two with my videos and it's been a lot of just it's been a lot of cleaning and organizing and I just feel like in retrospect I'm kind of like just getting my house in order I guess and with the volume that's here and working over those last couple of years, it's just been so easy to just like, oh, come home and I'm tired and I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. I mean, yeah, I'm, I've always been making progress out here, but a lot of stuff just kind of been pushed to the wayside and and piling up and a cluttered house is a cluttered mind. And I feel like I'm really trying to get rid of all that clutter lately. And keeping a positive mental state is, is just, it's it's everything. and blocking out the TV, turning off the news, all that stuff. It just like, it makes all the difference in the world. And, you know, uh, focusing on money, I mean, don't get me wrong, money makes the world go around. But since I've been home and I've just trying to keep my head right and block out the garbage that's out there and just focus on what's here, focus on this, not on that, I'm making, uh, strides of progress and and yeah money is an issue money's always an issue but it's like when you let that creep in it becomes a limiting a limiting mindset and one thing that when we started homesteading next door that was one thing that I like really discovered that really propelled me moving forward is like once I got out of my head that it's like there's this thing that I want to accomplish <clears throat> And I don't know how I'm going to accomplish it. I don't know the details. I don't know the steps. But I know what the picture at the end looks like. Once I just started focusing on that picture at the end, all these things just started happening. And the picture presented itself. I didn't have to worry about these little steps along the way. And 
start worrying about the money and all that kind of stuff. It's just limiting. It's limiting mindset and it, it, it's a tripping hazard. And it's just, once that tripping hazard's gone, these things just, they just happen. So, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do here, um, but I know it's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. Ultimately, the goal from day one for years and years has always been to become a self, I don't want to say self-sufficient because I feel like that's, that's a, that's a pipe dream. That's, that's unattainable, but become as self-reliant as possible and to make money in the process. It's like we're doing all these things around here and it's, it's all me. It's all us. It's all us doing this stuff. It's like the outsourcing is like to an extreme minimal. And, and don't get me wrong, we, I penny pinch, we don't do anything extravagant. I mean, yeah, I know I spent like some money, some good money on, on a bunch of pipe that looks like junk to most people, but it's a greenhouse that is just, it's going to do a humongous thing for us when, once that thing gets put together. And um, so yeah, I spend money on some big items every once in a while, but those big items are investments as far as I'm concerned. That's not a frivolous expenditure, N not by any means. But what I'm saying here is that we penny pinch, I'm a penny pincher, a miser to the 10th degree. And we don't live extravagantly. And it's not easy like going to the grocery store these days in any way at all. And everything that I can do to like reduce that grocery bill, to take ourselves away from the industrialized food complex, that's what I'm shooting for. That's, that's the goal. And in the process, it, it, along the way, selling plants, going to the farmer's market, selling produce, selling plants, m making money, having this place produce its own income. I mean, that's, that's what the goal is. That's what it's all about. Getting away from all that and making this become everything. That's what I'm shooting for, guys. I'm making big strides along the way, doing the best I can every day. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna be, um, but I'm gonna do everything I can today to make tomorrow as good as it can be. So, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.